हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल आई एम मुस्कान शर्मा एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू एचआर एंड टेक्निकल इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन फॉर एनपीसीआई ग्रेजुएट इंजीनियर ट्रेनिंग सो लेट्स स्टार्ट द वीडियो फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन वुड बी दैट टेल मी अबाउट योर सेल्फ और इंटरव्यूअर कैन आस्क दैट कैन यू प्लीज गिव अस योर ब्रीफ इंट्रोडक्शन सो यू हैव टू आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन स्टेटिंग योर एकेडमिक स्किल्स योर प्रोफिशेंसी इन लैंग्वेज whether say c c++ or java anything it could be your final year project plus one or two line about your hobbies and your interest uh, if any certification or courses that you have done in your uh, academics second question would be describe your final year project suppose you have answered any uh, about any project in uh, point number 1 so interviewer can ask that describe your final year project that what technologies uh, and what framework you have used in that particular project uh, describing uh, all its functionality in detail third question would be write a program to check whether the string is palindrome or not uh, string is palindrome means the word phrase or the number or the characters that reads same from the backward or and from the forward so you have to uh, share the screen uh, in front of the interviewer and you have to explain the logic that how to find uh, the palindrome of a number after that uh, the fourth question would be write a program to sort an array in ascending order in this in this question you can ask you can uh, use uh, the array dot sort method or if interviewer not allow to use that method so you have uh, an option to uh, use the for loop to find this uh, the solution of this question after that uh, the fifth question would be that what is a garbage collector uh, what is a garbage collection so you can ask uh, you can answer this question that garbage collection ensure that a program does not exist exceed its memory quota or reach a point that it no longer function it also frees up developers from having a manual manage a program's memory which in turn reduce the potential for memory related bugs so garbage collection automatically uh, frees up the memory and uh, it uh, removes the burden from the developer Sixth question is what is constructor and destructor? In this question, you have to answer that what is the constructor and destructor and explaining uh, its difference. So you can answer like this: constructor are the special class that perform the initialization of every instance. It is a special initialization function that is automatically called whenever the class is declared. and a constructor is uh, as i said that constructor is called whenever the class is created uh, in opposite uh, destructor is called while object of the class is deleted constructor is used to allocate the memory to the instance while destructor is used to deallocate the memory of the instance constructor can be overloaded while destructor can't be overloaded constructor name is same as that of the class name and destructor name is also same as the class name preceded by the tilde operator likewise you can answer the differences between the constructor and destructor next question would be what is dbms and also explain the asset properties of this so you can answer that dbms is a system software for creating and managing database database is basically the collection of the data then uh, interviewer can ask that uh, can you please explain the real time uh, use of database management system so you can answer that dbms is needed in nearly almost every sector like banking ticket reservation hotel booking etc and uh, for this asset properties you can answer that in the context of transaction processing asset properties are the four key properties of the transaction which is stated as atomicity consistency isolation 
and durability the asset properties of transaction provide a mechanism in dbms to ensure the consistency and the correctness of any database likewise you can answer in more details that what is atomicity what is consistency isolation and plus what is durability also you have to mention that uh, these properties have to be performed in single go means that is all the changes are performed on none of them so this is the condition of 1 and 0 that if the operation perform or if the transaction done successfully all the uh, properties or all these features have uh, will work uh, in in the positive manner that is uh, the one condition and if any one of the property fails to perform its operation then it is just like a zero condition so the output will be zero next question uh, eight question what are the four oops principle so you have to answer uh, the four oops principle uh, like polymorphism abstraction inheritance and encapsulation you can answer uh, this question in details explaining each of these principles that uh, encapsulation uh, what is the use of encapsulation and uh, how can we achieve it next question is what is join explain its types so you can answer that join is a clause used to combine two or more tables based on the related column between them. Like uh, uh, you can answer uh, in more detail that about the join. Plus when the interviewer asks that please explain the types of the join. So you can answer that there are different types of joins used in SQL. Uh, following are the list of its type first one is inner join or simple join i can say second is left outer join or uh, in simple words left join third would be right outer join or right join fourth full outer join and fifth cross join and sixth is self join so interviewer can ask uh, in detail its types that how can we achieve uh, means uh, what is the purpose of this inner join how can we achieve it what is the purpose of self join how can we do this so likewise interviewer can ask next question will be difference between primary key and unique key so you first have to answer that what is primary key and what is unique key and then you have to differentiate among both of them so you can answer like a primary key is a key that uniquely identifies each record in a table but cannot store null value means primary key is most important key in uh, the database or we can say in the sql which uniquely identify each record from the table but we cannot store null values in it but in unique key unique key prevents duplicate values in a column but it can store null value so you can answer in this form plus you can add some more points here next question will be difference between call by value and call by reference so call by value passes a copy of the variable whereas call by reference passes the variable itself in call by value the actual arguments passed parameters of a function refers to different memory location in call by reference actual arguments are passed of a function to the same memory location and in call by value method there is no modification in the original value but in the call by reference method there is a modification in the original value because in the case of call by value when we pass the value of parameter during the calling of a function it copies them to the function actual local argument next question that uh, the interviewer can ask like uh, hr question uh, that um, 
कैन यू प्लीज टेल मी अबाउट अवर कंपनी और वी कैन से दैट कैन यू प्लीज टेल मी दैट वॉट डू यू नो अबाउट एन पी सी आई वॉट इज एन पी सी आई सो यू हैव टू आंसर दैट वॉट इज द वॉट इज द वर्किंग ऑफ एन पी सी आई वॉट इज द एंड हाउ इट वर्क एंड हु इज द सीईओ ऑफ एन पी सी आई एंड विच इज द विच टेक्नोलॉजीज आर यूज इन एन पी सी आई सो यू कैन आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन इन दिस फॉर्मेट ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विल बी हाउ फ्लेक्सीबल आर यू इन लर्निंग न्यू लैंग्वेजेस और लर्निंग न्यू टेक्नोलॉजीज सो दिस इज द ट्रिकी क्वेश्चन दैट इंटरव्यूअर वॉन्ट टू आस्क फ्रॉम यू दैट हाउ इजीली यू कैन लर्न न्यू टेक्नोलॉजीज और न्यू लैंग्वेजेस हेयर सपोज यू आर कंफर्टेबल इन जावा और पाइथन एंड आफ्टर योर सिलेक्शन द टेक्नोलॉजी दैट यू हैव टू वर्क विल डिफर from this uh, existing technology that you might aware of so you can answer this uh, question in very uh, i can say in a very uh, appropriate manner so that interviewer interviewer uh, can get interviewer will able to understand that you will able to learn any technologies under the uh, company so you can answer this question like I consider myself highly flexible and adaptable uh, when it comes to learning new languages or technologies throughout my career I have consistently demonstrated my ability to quickly pick up new concepts and technologies as the need rises for instance in my previous role or uh, you can say that uh, in the previous company role there was a project that required me to work with programming language i hadn't used before i took the initiative to undergo online courses and self paced learning to become proficient in that language within the short time frame this is the uh, this last line uh, you can escape because you are a fresher here so you can answer this uh, you can answer uh, the last line as i believe that uh, my strong foundation in fun fun fundamental programming principles coupled with my proactive approach to learning has allowed me to transition smoothly between different languages and technology additionally i enjoy the challenge of staying updated with industry trends and exploring emerging technologies this is the sample example that uh, you can answer for this uh, question number 13 next question will be that uh, do you have a, uh, sorry next question question number 14 will be the difference between hash map and hash set so hash map and hash set uh, you can answer this question is as the hash map Uh, is used when we have the key value pairs like we have two types of list which are interrelated in such a way that uh, key is referenced by some value and hash set uh, is not uh, related to uh, this key value pair it only having the particular set of it only having the particular uh, list of items as you can answer that hash set stores unique elements without any associated value while hash map stores key value pair where the keys are uniquely identifiers and the values are associated data and for the difference you can answer that uh, hash hash set that duplicates are allowed in hash map uh in a way that values can be uh, duplicate but not key key cannot be duplicated but values can be uh, but in hash set no duplicates are allowed uh in in reference to the speed hash set is comparatively slower than hash map whereas the hash map is fast than the hash set and uh, for the null value uh i can say that hash map has a single null value it can accept whereas 
single null key and any number of null values are allowed in hash map. So this is the difference between hash map and head set. And last question interviewer can ask uh, that any questions for us or uh, uh, if you have any doubts or any questions you can ask. So this question is very important that I already explained in my previous video of Tech Mahindra interview question that this is very tricky and very important question that you have to ask from interviewer that shows that you are really interested in this job role and you will able to perform or you will able to uh, do your work as uh, good as you can so you can uh, uh, you can ask the questions like uh, that what will be the uh, technologies that i have to work upon and what will be the uh, what will be the uh, uh, colleagues or I can say that what will be the management uh, uh, sector or not exactly the management sector what what will be the designation people that I have to work with likewise you can uh, question from the interviewer and uh, you can also ask that what will be the further onboarding process for this uh, role so these are the questions for the HR and technical interview questions for NPCI graduate engineer trainee for any uh, for any feedback or any questions you can drop a comment in the comment section hope you like the video thanks for watching thank you